everybody welcome back to another video so today we're gonna be talking about a little bit of a funny topic but i know a lot of people like question this and that is how can i make my quaker parrot be nicer quaker parrots are kind of notorious for being little troll birds little um mean birds little green monsters and for a lot of people that happens to be the case now we love our quaker parrots we love their little sassy mean personalities but sometimes it can be a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop! No! Stop! No! <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> you ass! Stop! <laughs> the reason being is because Quaker parents get overstimulated. Oh, there she's gonna come here. Overstimulated very easily. So when you're around them, their body language can be a little hard to read and no matter how hard you try because they will approach you in this nice calm manner and then they'll turn around and just suddenly bite you. Ah. <laughs> Luz! Luz, no! Like you have a split second to react from their body language and mannerism. So it can be tough. And again, this doesn't apply to every single Quaker parrot, but I know it is a good majority of people who do have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> you like, no, come here. <laughs> you be good. Ah. Quaker parrots love to troll around. They love to play around. They love to be mean and find it funny because it's not always in, a, in an aggressive way I find with Quaker parrots. Sometimes they just really like to bite, not in a hard bleeding way, but in a way where it's like playful to them and they'll laugh about it and they want you to kind of like play back and sometimes they get too excited about it and they bite too hard and that's where it can get a little difficult <laughs> <laughs> Some Quaker parrots like to do this a little more than others and if that's the case then I'm going to be teaching you guys ways that I kind of dealt through it and helped calm down Luce's personality by a lot because she was, she still is and it's not perfect but it has calmed down a lot. A very two-faced personality, one moment she'll be all nice. And then the next moment she kind of hated you and would like go after you and bite you and it would be, it could get difficult to deal with. What? <laughs> <laughs> and because we try our best to understand Quaker parrots to the best of our abilities, but it is hard. So that would be the first thing that I would say. In helping a Quaker parrot to be nicer, you want to maintain the environment calm. You want to treat them softly and kindly. Hello, my cutie. Hi. Hi. Hi, what's up? Hi. My chair is so cute. You're so cute. Look at you. Look at you. You're so sweet. Sometimes it can be difficult because they want to engage in a little bit of an aggressive play. And we, you know, we find it fun at first. It's kind of like fun to just kind of like bother them a little bit. Sometimes it can lead to them growing a little bit more, you know, aggressive. It's kind of like the same way when kids roughhouse with their parents. At first it can be kind of like, you know, parents having fun with them, they're roughhousing back, you know, and then suddenly that turns to them not understanding when it's appropriate to roughhouse and when they're hitting a little too hard. So it's best to just kind of take it by the core and just try not to roughhouse roughly. So if you're going to play with them, make sure in this is a gentle manner. So sometimes when I play with, um, with Lusa and she feels like, you know, getting a little extra playful, extra play... Okay. This is about Quaker Parrot and you're the only one who joined me. Thank you. Lusa, yes, are you going to come? You want to come here? Um, we do have this little chase game where she'll she loves being on the floor and be super careful if your bird wanders around the ground make sure everybody around knows they're on the ground uh and i like chase her around and i'm just like i'm just like run 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 
run, run in Spanish, like corre, corre, and then she'll go under the bed and she'll like hide and play like a little bit of peekaboo and she finds it very humorous. That is very gentle ways to play with them. And she, the way she reacts to this kind of play is more of a gentle mannerism. <laughs> Hi, hello for joining us. I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. Because the most important thing is that your energy, your body language is what they're going to take in. If your body language, your mood, your tone is very like hyper loud, like uh, very quick and aggressive, then they're gonna react to that. Especially if you start getting mad or you start um, scolding them or something like that, it can, it, they can get a little bit more on the aggressive side. So take it very lightly, speak to them very gently. So there has been times where sometimes I am playing with her and she gets too excited. And you guys can see here in this video that she goes from running around to more starting to bite me. Now, like I said, she doesn't bite hard. Um, she just starts getting annoyed at me. She starts grabbing my skin and starts telling me to stop, be good. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, that hurts. Boop. <laughs> Thank you, that made it feel better. Now you're being gentle. Ah, hey, no, no, no. You're a kiwi! Don't laugh! No scratches? No? Oh! Ow! Be good! Hey! Be good! You have to be- you can't just say it and not be good. You have to be good if you say it. Wait, wait, what am I doing? Ah! What am I doing? You have to stop it. You're the one biting. Yeah, stop it. And that is her already signaling to me that, hey, I'm starting to get too excited that I'm starting to get aggressive. This is where you guys have to understand to stop the game, calm them down. Just tell them, okay, we're done. We're done. Don't worry about it. We're good. And then whatever you're playing, just give them a moment to cool down. You can still be in the room. It doesn't mean you have to like leave them, put them back in the seat just don't engage they might still try to engage they might still try and you know bite back or, or get you like forcefully get you to play the game with them but just try to avoid it don't get mad at them just try and gently tell them hey hey it's okay we're done we're gonna calm down now we're done the game they understand and keep in mind this isn't like anything i say in my video these are never immediate results it will take time for them to start understand that the tone and the body language of what you guys usually do is going to be different. Hi, you, you want to look at yourself in the mirror? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Loving it, Mango? Yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> because Lisa was a rescue, I worked with her through rehabilitating her and her behavior. She struggled a lot with a lot of aggressive behavior because it was a defense. So this is what separates out from what I'm talking about. You have to be so careful that when your Quaker is, you know, getting a little bit aggressive, it's not because you're misreading their body language. It's not because you're overstepping boundaries and definitely not because they don't even trust you yet. This is more of an established bond and trust that you guys are already trusting each other, handling one another and being able to have that bond and communication. Because what I notice is that a bird will usually only listen to you and understand you once you've built that loving bond. I know this is like a weird explanation. Like if a bird doesn't trust you, anything you say to them is not really going to get through to them. Once Luz and I establish this bond, if I tell her like, hey, 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 it's okay, calm down. She'll kind of look at me and be like, 
Oh, okay, okay. I got it. I got I got the message. If you do have a brand new bird, you do are trying to get them to trust you, or if they're biting because they told you, hey, I, I don't want you to touch me, I don't want you near me, and you did it anyways, this is very different to what I'm talking about, getting your Quaker bear to be nice. That is more of a situation of, I'm still trying to get my Quaker bear, trust me. Yeah, a lot of it depends on you guys and your body language, understanding when to stop the game before it goes too far. If you guys want to keep them in general calm without like frequent of that rough housing play, birds need a lot of stimulation. They need stuff to do. Make sure you have the appropriate toys in your room, things to keep them entertained. Quaker bears are notorious for being very clingy and just wanting to be on you. They're not much for playing with their toys i notice so even on me sometimes i'll have like things for them to play with i'll pass them little shredding toys on me and that will help them to concentrate their beak onto something else even if it has to be more dependent on me i'll have those soft like calming zen musics in the background that really calms her down and she just likes to watch what i'm doing and i just noticed that continuously keeping the environment this way keeps her from suddenly like going very into aggressive playful mode i still engage with her i still play with her it helps a lot that mango's around because mango will come and start preening her when she starts getting a little upset then mango will come and calm her down just preen her i notice that it can be really as simple as they're just hungry they are so clingy that sometimes they don't even want to go eat because they don't want to get separated from you sometimes she can get start to get like that kind of mean aggressive form because she's hungry and she's just refusing to eat so i have to go place her accompany her encourage her to go eat your little baby your little meaty babies yes you are birds react a lot to their sound their environment energy around the room so please just make sure you're maintaining that all in a calm aneurysm if you guys continue to follow this oh look at your pretty wings if you guys continue to follow this and in Keep the environments um, in this mannerism, then your Quaker pairs should start to really calm down. They take after your personality. So if you're noticing that they are being extra mean, <laughs> extra abusive, <laughs> um, in a way, take a take a self reflection moment. See what you're carrying into the room with you. Um, if you just had a fight with somebody and you're all upset and angry. I noticed that whenever that happens, she tends to get more aggressive than usual. It's not like dogs where they're kind of like, I'm super happy all the time and I will support you in any way possible. Um, they'll just mirror your emotions basically. So if you are feeling that way and as much as you want to see your birds, some birds have more of that intuition to be, I don't find that much quicker parrots. I feel like they make the situation worse in ways. So try and take a breather yourself before entering the room and engaging with them. Don't let yourself carry that into the room with them because a lot of the times it can make it worse. You guys know your birds best. If your birds react well to when you guys are upset and they will come for you, for sure, go for it. I'm just speaking from my experience. Hope this information helped you guys a lot. Hopefully your Quakers start to calm down and be a little bit nicer. I guess this is more of a therapy session in a way because a lot of it, as usual, relies on us, not really them, on how we handle things. Little video interruption. We have a new addition into our Etsy shop. Now I'm using this for school, so it's gonna have stuff inside, but we got our tote bags. Three different seasons that you can choose from. This one's a spring one. Uh, we have summer and fall as well, her right here. Um, has a zipper, uh, internal pocket, and two exterior pockets. It's pretty big, it's great for school, great for travel. Really recommend it, not just because it's my design, but it's actually a really good tote bag in general. Really great canvas, full cotton canvas material. So check them out on our Etsy shop. We're actually having a Black Friday sale right now. Everything in the store is 20% off. So make sure to grab yourself some pins, some keychains, some prints, stickers, whatever you guys find that you guys are like, hey, that's really cute. We're gonna make a video for two weeks, guys. Been very caught up on school and certain life situations, but I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. Check out our links down in the bio and as well as our Etsy shop. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.